And now, your KRCG 13 Storm Vision Forecast with Zach Paul. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Jessica Quick. Zach's off this evening. We enjoyed kind of a summer-like day today. Our temperatures were nearly 80 degrees in some spots. In fact, we did get up to 80 degrees in Columbia today. Other places were in the upper 70s. Jefferson City up to 79. Same temperature at the lake today, a little cooler in some other spots. Rollo was 76. But you can see well above normal for today. As we head into our, maybe if you're heading to some of those football tailgates tonight, our temperatures are still in the middle 70s for most of us. 77 still in Jefferson City. Think about their homecoming tonight. 73 in in Rolla, 75 in Columbia, and 76 out in Sedalia. So very comfortable evening for some Friday night football. And we are seeing the moisture start to increase in advance of a cold front that will bring us some rain overnight tonight. And a little bit breezy this afternoon. The winds actually have calmed down a little bit. We were seeing them up to 15 to 20 miles per hour earlier this afternoon. And we do can see the continue to see those winds come from the south. Actually, our record at the airport, or actually our high today at the airport was 80 degrees, so well above our average of 69. This morning we were 51, the average 47 degrees, and we're going to see that sunset tonight at 6. 36 getting shorter and shorter as we go on through the fall. Looking at our water vapor tonight, you can see the low pressure system that is dragging in that front. It's very robust heading to north to our north into Canada, but that cold front will drag through our area overnight tonight, bringing us chances for rain, although I don't think we're going to get quite a lot of rainfall as this system comes through. You can see that on our model. I think most of us are going to stay dry for the early evening hours, but as that front starts to sweep through, we will see rainfall over the overnight hours and into our early Saturday. So if you are going to be heading out to those early Saturday events, maybe bring a rain jacket or umbrella. However, I don't think we are, any of those events are going to be a washout. As you can see, as the front moves through, we are going to switch our winds to the northeast as we head into our Sunday and Sunday evening. Our Sunday looks to be pretty nice. Plenty of sunshine as a high pressure starts to build in for at least a day or so. We are going to have rain chances again tonight. You can see some of those totals are going to be probably between a tenth and two tenths of an inch. So not a lot of rainfall, but some of us will be getting wet at, well, over the overnight hours. Here's our football Friday night forecast temperatures mainly in the 70s across the area. So a great night to get out there and enjoy some football. We're going to see the clouds start to increase as we go throughout the evening hours. Temperatures falling from 75 at kickoff to right around 68 degrees by the end of the fourth quarter. And if you are going to be headed to Bush Stadium this evening, temperatures right around 74 degrees at the first pitch at 730 this evening. Mostly clear skies will just have a couple of scattered clouds. Very nice evening if you're going to be watching the Cardinals this evening. Our temperatures tomorrow morning will be in the upper 50s and low 60s, kind of depending where you are in the front, maybe a little bit warmer to the east. And temperatures tomorrow afternoon, once that cold front moves through, we still have temperatures in the, in the middle 70s. And we'll get a little bit of sunshine as the afternoon goes on. Look at our seven day forecast. We will have rain in there for our Saturday. Sunday looks pretty nice though for those outdoor activities. 74 degrees. We're going to see temperatures in the 40s for the first part of next week. We'll have rain chances in there with a stronger cold front on Monday and Tuesday, and that's going to cool us off quite a bit for next week. Finally going to get some of those fall like temperatures in there actually below normal for the middle of next week we'll be in the 60s lake. It'll be the same story with temperatures in the 70s, but once we head towards Monday and Tuesday, cooling off quite a bit. Yes, this morning temperature is pretty chilly. Yeah, you went away. Miss Troike, you I came did. back. Mrs. Mrs. Quick. Congratulations. Let me say congratulations. Thank you. Yes. All right. 